You have really good 170 degree angle here. I've got my whole dashboard. You can see right in front. Full screen here, you guys can see. We've got the front angle, front view of the camera, rear view of the back. What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. So tell us to just, we're gonna be going over a really awesome dash cam here from the folks at DD Pi. This is awesome, 1600p, GPS, Wi-Fi enabled. It even has an app to be able to connect to your phone so that you can record at night, you can record at day, while you're on those long drives, trucking, all that good stuff. With that said, guys, before we jump into this here, I do have to let you know that DDPi did reach out to me and sponsor this video. Down below in the links in the description is the product pricing and availability. Hopefully you can get this in time here before the holidays. With that said, this was provided to me complimentary. Let's go ahead and jump in the unboxing, installation, and demonstration. The dual channel dash cam from the folks at DDPi provides 1600p high resolution for your camera. What's awesome here is you can mount it, you have access to GPS, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff to be able to connect, to view your road, in the cabin, wherever you need to have this. The Mola M3 Pro dash camera provides you up to 140 degrees of viewing angles. Comes with all the accessories needed to install it. Look at that unit, that is just gorgeous. The best part about it here is that it does support up to a half a terabyte of, an, of a micro SD card and the best thing, and a 1.8 aperture, meaning that you can have really, really clean, really, really clear low light video. Here's everything that it comes with. You've got your mounts, you've got your really, really long cables. You've obviously got your cigarette lighter plug here with USB, and then you've got your Mola M3 Pro. Coming in close here, you can see the really high quality camera. It is 1600p, which equates to a 2K camera. You got your microphone, heatsink, speakers, inputs, mount, all that good stuff. This is where you're gonna charge it, plug it in. This is where you're gonna be placing your SD card. I'm gonna first mount the SD card before I forget. Easily just place it in there. It snaps right in, closes off for protection. And then here's the rear camera which features a 1080p camera HD resolution that is adjustable here once you plug it in and it's got the mount right there and the cord to stretch. Mounting the HD camera is super simple here as you can see it's got USB type C plus it's got a mount there you're going to align it and then plug it in. It snaps in place and now it's one solid unit and your charging port is right there, as well as a jack. As you can see, it is adjustable. Attach it both directions if you wanna have it in the cabin or in the front. There you go, you can see how adjustable it is. For the rear camera here, it comes with a bunch of cord that you're gonna be lining the, the roof of your car. It's recommended here that you plug it in to that 3.5 millimeter jack right there, and then you've got your power output, plugging it, just like that. Okay, we're plugging it in here for the first time. We've got both the rear and the front plugged in. I've just plugged it into power. Now it's gonna give it a second here to power up. We've got power here from the rear camera. Okay, from the app store here, you're going to be downloading DDPi's app. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and downloaded it here, we're gonna to connect to new devices. Next, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. There it is, DDPi. We're gonna connect. Now you can see here that it's already uh, showing you here. Whatever's recording, enter playback video. Wow, it's been recording this whole time. So it's, it's just always on, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna be recording here now from the rear camera, as you guys can see, 1080p, it looks pretty good. Right now, we're in a lower light situation. However, this camera is not the 2K camera. Let's go ahead and switch over now to the front-facing camera. 
Here is the front facing camera. This is what it looks like. Look at that wide angle. It's, it's up to 170 degrees, whereas the, the rear is up to 140. It looks really, really good. You can see quite a bit of my office. I think this is a great option here for you guys to consider. Okay, we're going to be recording here now from the rear camera. As you guys can see, 1080p, it looks pretty good. Right now, we're in a lower light situation. However, this camera is not the 2K camera. Let's go ahead and switch over now to the front-facing camera. Here is the front-facing camera. This is what it looks like. Look at that wide angle. It's, it's up to 170 degrees, whereas the, the rear is up to 140. It looks really, really good. You can see quite a bit of my office i think this is a great option here for you guys to consider okay we're on location here let's go ahead and install the dinging pie uh what i'm going to do is actually affix it to my windshield i'd like to do that instead of putting it to the rear view mirror we're going to go to affix it here to the uh the windshield okay i've cleaned off where i'd like to take off the adhesion apply pressure there you have it. Once you've affixed it to where you'd like to, you can adjust it how you need. Okay, we've got the rear camera here. I can decide where I want to put it. I think I'm going to be placing it right here. I'm not going to put it over any of the uh, copper wires for the, the heating. Okay, go ahead and take the adhesive off. Pretty straightforward. Place it right on square where I need it. Apply pressure, then we can let the cord dangle here. As you can see, it's placed just where it needs to and it looks really good right where it's at. Okay, we're gonna need to run the power cord all the way back and around. What's nice here is it comes bundled and it has a little Velcro here and we'll just run it through. As you can see, sharing my screen now, we are live and driving. You can see the, the front. We can go ahead and switch it and toggle it to the rear if you want. You have really good 170 degree angle here. I've got my whole dashboard. You can see right in front. It's actually really, really great. It's gonna go to the back, my rear cam. Quite a wide angle there. I'm gonna switch it to the front, show you the front. Full screen here, you guys can see. We've got the front angle, front view of the camera, rear view of the back. All right, my ponyos, in conclusion, I think the Ding Ding Pie is actually really, really awesome for putting together this really, really awesome dash cam. I'm very impressed. It was very simple to install. A little annoying to wrap around the top of my car here, but after driving for a while, you can't even notice it. It's really nice to have the dash cam there and turned on when you need it. You can have up to 500 gigabytes of SD card storage, which I think was great. With that said, hopefully you like this content here. This is a sponsored video. Down below in the links in the description is the product pricing and availability. Please consider checking that out. With that said, Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out. Thanks guys, bye.